Um, we, we believe in a time where Christians today hold firmly to the 11th commandment. And the 11th commandment is thou shalt be nice. And we don't believe the other 10. Thou shalt be nice. And, and everything that's wrong out there with the world today is our fault because we just haven't been nice enough. If we had just been nicer to this group, things wouldn't be bad. If we had just been nicer to this group, then things just wouldn't be as bad as they are. If we, if we, if we were just nicer. I'm not a fan of social media. I'm just not. But it's there. And I use it. I use it as a Petri dish. <laughs> I really do. I really do. Put things out there, and it's amazing what you learn about just where people are confront the issues of our day confront them in a not mean and nasty I'm not talking a, a Westboro Baptist way of confronting the issues of our day but just plant your feet square your shoulders hold your chin up and say that's wrong and and within minutes somebody in the 18 to 35 year old category will pounce on you for violating the 11th commandment and it doesn't matter how offensive the thing is that you've confronted. It will always be more offensive to them that you said something about it than it is that the thing happened. Because we hold to the 11th commandment and we don't believe the other 10. What would the Reformation look like today? Luther, you, you're just so mean. Calvin? Zwingli? Ah! They, they're these horrible men. They're just not nice. Look at the confessional statement. It's not that I disagree with it. It's just there's something about the tone. It's just not very helpful. You know I'm right. If you can't say amen, you ought to say ouch. Because I know you see it. This is where we are. We are so weak, so feminized. Just manliness. Just, just a manly confrontation. It's seen as something that's just, we just, we can't, we, we just can't take it. Which is so ironic. Because we'll watch vicious and violent video games right but then you let somebody confront error and we just we're shrinking violence that's problematic